friends. Today I'm reading We Were Tired of Living in a House. Now this is hands down one of my very, very, very favorite books. The illustrations are amazing. So we're gonna take a lot of time looking at each picture on the page. Okay, here we go. We Were Tired of Living in a House by Liesl Moak Scorpin. We were tired of living in a house. Do they look happy or mad? Happy or mad? I think they look frustrated. So we packed a bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and woolen caps. That means winter warm hats. Here's their packing very carefully. And we moved to a tree. We liked our tree. Would you want to live in a tree? Oh, you'd want to live in this tree. There was always a breeze in the afternoon that rippled through our roof. Above in a branch lived a speckled bird who sang all day for the sake of a song. And our roof in the autumn turned scarlet and gold. Scarlet is that dark red on the leaves. We liked our tree. Do you agree? Would you want to live in that tree? I do. I really do. I love that. until we tumbled out. It was windy. Oh, look at the cat. So funny. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and scarlet leaves and gold. Packing, packing, packing. And we moved to a pond. Oh, we liked our pond. I wonder what they're gonna do with this. Let's find out. Oh, you're gonna like this. We built a raft and floated about among the reeds and lily pads below fish darted and dragonflies above. And pond frogs sang with us on summer nights. Oh, we liked our pond. I like this. What do you like about that page? Would you want to live on a pond? Do you see the dog? Tell me, see it when you see it. Do you see the cat? See it when you see it. Oh, they're having a great time. Love it. Uh-oh, until we sank. next. So we packed our bag with sweater and socks and scarves and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend. Oh, I'm so glad they get to bring the frog. Tell me, see it when you see it. I see the frog. Where are they going? Thinking, thinking, thinking. What's your guess? What do you think? I'm just going to tell you. And we moved to a cave. Oh, we liked our cave. Would you want to live in a cave? I would if they came along and made it look like this. We slept on beds of cool green moss. We hunted for blackberries in the woods. We dipped our water from the brook and roasted walnuts over a fire. When we weren't busy, we explored. We liked our cave. Do you agree? I agree. Can you see the dog and see the cat? Tell me, see it when you see it. Okay, nice. Let's see what happens. Until we met bears. Oh, yikes. Oh my goodness. So we 
packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun. They're off to their next adventure. Are they set and ready to go? All right, let's go. Let's see where they're going. Any guesses where they're moving? And they move to the sea. We liked the sea. I agree. I like the sea. Let's see what they do with the sea. They're going to love this. We built a castle on the shore from salty water and warm sea sand with turrets and towers and moats about. We hunted for treasure and dove in the waves and slept to the pleasant songs of the surf. Oh, we liked our castle on the shore. You are going to love this. Do you love it so much? Look at that sand castle. But what's gonna happen? I'm hoping, hoping, hoping they can stay. Let's find out. But the tides kept washing us out to sea. That happens at the sea. packed our bag with sweaters and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun and seashells singing in the surf. And we went home to live in a house. Oh, mommy and daddy are happy to have them back. We all say the end.